Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we've got another PlayStation Classic build to take a look at and this one is pretty damn cool. Seven systems in one with 108 PlayStation games. It is definitely a fun one to mess around with. Now the difference here is this is not a Bleem Sync build. This is an auto Bleem build. So a lot of people are stuck in that Bleem Sync thing, but there's other options out there. And for me, Personally, after having messed with both ways of doing it, Bleem Sync and Auto Bleem, I'm not saying Auto Bleem is perfect, but it is my preferable way to mod the PlayStation Classic. Even with this pre-made build uh, that fits on a 64 gigabyte USB drive, it is so simple to change things around, change the games out, do different things. You know, if you don't like something that's on the build, you can easily swap it out. Auto Bleem just has a lot of cool features, and that's what I want to take a look at today, is what can we do with Auto Bleem, and then also look at this build and see what is included. Now, like I've said plenty of times in these PlayStation Classic videos, if you need help with hacking, modding your system, my Facebook group has a lot of cool people over there helping out, so links in the description if you want to check it out. But let's go ahead and continue on. So Auto Bleem, safe mod, safe hack, doesn't write anything to the PlayStation Classic. Bleem Sync 1.0 does, but at this time, there's no reversing it. For, you know, everything that I have seen, it's safe for the most part. But any of these mods, hacks, you know, if something goes wrong with your system, that is on you. But right now, I mean, I don't like not being able to reverse something on my PlayStation Classic. And I know that's kind of how it started out in the beginning. Uh, but then we were eventually able to get rid of that GP hack stuff and, and you know, start fresh. So I'm sure with Bleem Sync, as they progress, uh, you know, you'll be able to reverse it if you want. Because that's important to a lot of people. But a lot of people are enjoying Bleem Sync 1.0. But Auto Bleem, to me, is just so simple. Just dropping video game, you know, <laughs> the, the, the PBPs or uh, bin and cues, whatever, onto your, your uh, folders on your USB drive. It's just simple. There's nothing to do. You don't have to sit there and rename all the folders as numbers, put them in sequence. The folders can be named as the, uh, the actual game, so that's really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look. Down below, you can see that there's buttons to do everything. I'm kind of blocking part of it. Uh, right after triangle, you have the select button is for options, and then the L1 button is for advance. So if we hit select, we do have some uh, things we can mess around with. Auto Bleem theme, you can change the themes for Auto Bleem. The menu theme, you can change the, uh, the menu theme for the system. Background music, uh, process configuration on scan, true. I'm not 100% with that one. Uh, mip map patch, false, overmount. You know, there's a bunch of options. If you really want to jump into some of this stuff, definitely look it up first. But I haven't messed with anything other than the theme things, um, the theme options anyway. Show RetroArch. Uh, true or you know you put it to false if you don't have RetroArch on here you don't have to worry about it but you can have it show or not so there is that then the other cool thing is l1 if you hold l1 down it doesn't just take you to the advanced menu you got to hold it down and then choose do you want to go to memory cards or game manager so that's pretty sweet going to game manager these are the games that we have on the system for the playstation side of things and it's pretty neat because you can go through and select a game, let's say Biohazard 2, uh, select it, shows all the information. You can change the naming, uh, you know, the metadata type stuff here. You could do, which is pretty cool, there's like a memory card manager. You can share the memory card between games, change the memory card, so you have those options. Some people might be like, well, what's the point of that? Well, sharing your memory card between games could be important if those games share memory card files, right? Like some games would have like, hey, if you played this game previously, you would get something in it. Um, you know, I know like the Armored Core games had stuff like that. So you have those options here and I think that's damn sweet. But here's the list, we're not gonna scroll through this here, we're gonna look through it in the actual system. Um, now, the other things we can do besides that, you could drop in themes and change them out. It's really cool, you just look for auto bleem themes on Reddit drop them on there, you're good to go. But our other options are we press start to go into Auto Bleem, so we'll have all of our added PlayStation games. Uh, you could rescan 
to get the the artwork and the metadata for everything. The cool thing with this is you don't have to worry about the artwork per games. You get these databases and you install it on the build and it has the artwork for pretty much everything. And then AutoBleam will sync that up to the game files you have. So you don't have to worry about all that naming, you know, uh, uh, pictures for the games, finding the proper pictures. You don't have to worry about that. But that does lead me to one issue and I'll show you that. Actually, a couple small issues that I'm gonna talk about in a moment once we jump in. But yeah, you could rescan, get all the artwork, do that kind of stuff, pretty cool. Hitting the circle button goes to the original system, so your original 20 games that are on the, the system. Cir or Square, I mean, goes to RetroArch. So we'll take a look at that in a moment, but right now let's go ahead and go into AutoBleam and see what this looks like. So like I said, you could change themes around, all that kind of stuff. Um, it does load up fairly fast for me. Like you've seen it just pretty quick. Now, I do have this theme installed. There's other themes you could switch to. Uh, you can have the original or various other ones. This one I just wanted to check out. It's not necessarily my favorite, but here's the list of games. Now, I'm sure once I start scrolling through, uh, these these files for these the cover art are not the best quality. Fairly low resolution on these databases that are being used. None of these, you know, none of this artwork was, you know, added by me or anybody else. This is what you install on the build when you're putting it together. And yeah, these, it leaves a little bit to be desired. They're not very sharp. They don't look the best. They get the job done and it saves you time, saves you a ton of time, in my opinion, uh, since, you know, auto bleam, everything's fairly automatic and very easy to put together. But here we go, scrolling through the game list. There's a lot of cool things on this specific build. This is the other issue that I've had, and I brought it up to the guy who put this build together, um, is that Biohazard 2, I was like, why is there a Japanese game on here? Why wouldn't you just put Resident Evil 2? But it actually is Resident Evil 2, but for some reason, AutoBleam is recognizing it as Biohazard 2, so it's putting that artwork and that name. I tried fixing it, I couldn't figure it out. It's not a huge deal. Um, I know there's still improvements that are going to be taking place with AutoBleam. So just not 100% perfect here, but that's not the biggest problem to me. The biggest problem to me is just the low res cover art. I just don't like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and scroll through. A lot of classic games on here, and I do love that we can use those PvP files. A lot smaller than using, you know, the normal uh, files that we use, the bin and queue and whatnot. So these are compressed uh, multi-disc games will be, you know, all in one file, that kind of thing. And it works out great on this build. So that is a cool thing. You can fit a lot more games that way. So what do we got? We got a lot of classics here. Just going to kind of scroll through, um, you know, a lot of similarities between the previous builds that we've taken a look at. Um, but the thing I like is that, in all honesty, there's a bunch of stuff on here that I don't like a lot more so than the previous builds. I'm just being honest. Like none of this FIFA stuff do I care about. So I'm just gonna remove them and put something else on there and put no work into putting it on there other than dropping those games on there uh, in a folder. So stuff like that I'm gonna remove. Might add a couple more of the Final Fantasies, get rid of Formula One. I don't need that. <laughs> that kind of thing that, you know, the Gran Turismo, I'm not sure which one's which, but um, Hopefully some things with the metadata can be fixed. I know you could change and make it so it doesn't overwrite stuff. I'm pretty sure you could just manually change things. But like I said, with that biohazard thing, I couldn't figure it out yet. But here we go. A lot of cool games on this build for sure. So everything, I've tested a bunch of these games. See, I don't like this. Like this looks like this Parappa the Rapper cover. It just looks like somebody's beat up um, uh, manual for the game. Like, it's just some random scan off of the internet. Like, man, I hope he gets this together um, and, and fixes these databases because these images, they look like crap. I'm just being honest. Cool build. Love auto bleam, but I don't love the artwork or the, the, the cover art. So there we go. Almost at the end here. A lot of standout stuff. What was that? Samurai Shodan Warrior's Rage. Nice. Skull Monkeys. I remember playing this one. The Spyro game, Sweet Subot, Super, Subot, I combined Super and Robot. Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden, pretty cool stuff. Tekken, Tekken 2, Tenchu. Dude, look at that cover art. 
atrocious, man. Thrill kill, pretty crazy game, man. Um, Tomba and Tomba 2, sweet. So there we go, all the Tony Hawks, the Twisted Metals. We don't have Small Brawl, though. I know everybody keeps bringing that up to me. Like, where's Small Brawl? That's not all the Twisted Metals. Small Brawl is a dope game for sure. But I'm loving this. I am going to be messing with this and, and, you know, making it my own. That's, you know, what this kind of stuff is all about. Uh, you know, when people put builds together, you know, expand on it, change it up for yourself, that kind of thing. So right now, let's go ahead and swap on over to RetroArch and take a look at what's included there. I don't think uh, we really need to jump into any gameplay here. I'm going to do some gameplay videos um, in the very near future, testing some other more specific stuff. So stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and switch on over to RetroArch. All right, guys, so here we go. I reset the system to get back over here. I'm gonna hit square. Boom, loading up. This is pretty cool, um, what we have loaded up on here. So I'm hitting left. These are the systems we got. So we've got Atari 2600. There's a bunch of games here. That is for sure. Um, if you wanna play Atari 2600, there you go. Uh, Neo Geo, once again, love Neo Geo. I mean, I have so many other ways to play Neo Geo. I would never, I, I don't think I would ever play it on here, but it's here, you know? So that's cool, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, what do we got? What's next? Uh, PC Engine. Is it Turbo Graphics as well? I'm just seeing Japanese titles, which is still cool. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, PC Engine, tons of awesome games. Tons of awesome games. Love PC Engine. I don't even have a Turbo Graphics. I have a PC Engine. Fire Pro Wrestling. Awesome wrestling games. Um, so there we go. Tons of freaking games here, man. Obi. Street Fighter 2. Um, oh, that was Strip Fighter 2. My bad. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Very interesting game on the PC Engine. It's actually the only... Uh, physical PC Engine game I own. I know I've done a video on it before. Pretty cool stuff. And then we do have uh, Super Graphics. The handful of games that were released on the Super Graphics. Still some pretty nice stuff. Not really worth buying a Super Graphics for these five games, but hey, there you go. You're playing on the PlayStation Classic. 32X. There's some, there's some good stuff on the 32X, I think. Actually, where is this? Shadow Squadron. I don't know. For some reason, I really like that game. And it's cool that most of this stuff... Oh, Star Wars Arcade's pretty fun, too. Um, that most of this stuff... What the hell was that? Virtual Hamster. Hells yes. That's what I'm talking about. Um, cool that we have most of the box art here. And then a handful of PSP games. So I'm actually going to be doing a separate video on PSP. So stay tuned for that, where I'm going to test a handful of games. Not necessarily these games, but a handful of others. So let me see here. We got 32X... Uh, let's try let's try that virtual hamster. Let's see if that runs. I haven't tested any of these games yet But oh, there we go. We got bezels. We got a hamster eating a Sega logo Tells you what the heck are we playing guys? I couldn't um I couldn't I couldn't leave this video without at least trying a game, right? Let's oh What did I just do? Let's go. Oh crap. What the heck is the point of this game? I, I don't know if this stuff is hurting me or if I'm is that a snake chasing me? Well you if if this is like what you desire, is this if this is what you crave playing virtual hamster, this build has you covered, guys. Oh, we get to choose which way we want to go. This is stupid. I'm not even kidding. This game is stupid. Man, no wonder the 32X failed. I know there's going to be some like purist 32X fan who's just like, blasphemy, how dare you, unsubscribe, disliked, and I'm going to send you a freaking turd in the mail. Thank you. Really do appreciate it. But there we go, guys. We tested this out. Hit select and start. Exit this virtual hamster, skateboarding, whatever the frick it is you're playing. If you're some kind of hamster furry, and you wanna imagine that you're actually a hamster and you're running through some tunnels, Virtual Hamsters got you covered. Hells yes, so smash that like button, subscribe, make sweet ass hamster love, virtual hamster love to that notification. But I always look up here at my 
on mic, like that's the notification bell. Like I just want to fucking <laughs> my bad guys, my bad, my bad, my bad. But with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, blah blah, and boom. Bye.